Also new tonight, the Akron Public Schools redistricting plan is still not a done deal. The district announced new changes to the proposed plan at tonight's board meeting when many were expecting a vote. Arbery Buckley has more. Akron Public Schools announcing more changes to the proposed redistricting plan at the Board of Education meeting Monday night. From the first time that we started this um, up until now, there have been changes along the way because as we've listened to our families and listened to uh, our constituents. In Superintendent terms. Dr. Michael Robinson says literacy improvement is a big focus for the district and that starts in pre-kindergarten. He says the goal is for all students to be enrolled in full day pre-K starting next school year. But he says enrollment in that would determine if buildings initially set to close and the redistricting plan would need to stay open. We're doing the best that we can with what we have to work with, but we have to also remember that um, we must make sure that our buildings are to capacity. A district spokesperson says a vote on this proposed plan was initially on the agenda Monday night, but was pulled shortly before the meeting began. That led to some confusion from board members. So is this saying that throughout all of the other changes that are happening now, we also aren't going to close Stewart and Essex? We're not, we're not going to do what we voted to do? Another change, special open enrollment could open as soon as this Wednesday for students who want to go to a school outside of their new zone. The lengthy plan includes moving the STEM high school to Robinson CLC, which will cost $500,000 to $1 million on upgrades for programs like robotics and esports. Some parents sharing concerns over transportation. Akron STEM School has a special relationship with Akron University. So please, please try to make accommodations to address that partnership and make sure those kids have that maintained connection. The district says the meeting for the board's vote on the final proposal would be scheduled within the week. No word on exactly when that will be. APS says all families can expect more communication sent out soon. Betsy. All right, Bree Buckley in the studio with us tonight. Thank you. Chris.